I did keep that white tail safety seat. Grab her. Yeah, I'm a decent buy. It's cool though. I might grab it. I might just need. Holy. There's 18 rubs right here in this little patch. That's cool. Better than getting scarred. Right, guys we're back at it getting ready to take off on another hike to go look for some elk sheds it's a, what is it um april 15th april 11, 15th 11 18 in the morning we're gonna head up top hopefully find something vince wants to find got a goal he wants to find one elk shed yep. i'm gonna go with the same just one there was some elk around here looks like there's a little bit of tracks right here yeah, I've seen some poop back there we're gonna take off up here and we'll check back in when we start picking stuff up wish us luck peace out all right guys, I'm back here with you. Still going, haven't picked nothing up yet, but I think this is some really good sign. Figured I'd check in, show you guys what I got going on here. A lot of rubs in here, you gotta check it out. So like, a lot of fall sign and some fresh, fresher sign too in here though, but just rubs and rubs everywhere. And these reprod, just like a two year old burn. Super good in here, it's new growth. There's fresh tracks where they're just moving in here this spring to eat. And they were obviously rutting up here too last year, but just pretty torn up. I'm feeling like we might find something. Vince just radioed and said that he's seen a bunch of fresh, fresh rubs and tracks down there. And holy, up here ahead of me too, there's we got rub right there. Some rubs right here, this big torn up reprod right here. Okay, there's rub right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at all these rubs. Holy, Eleven, twelve, three. There's 18 rubs right here in this little patch. There's a bunch more below me even. But a little, looks like they were getting after it right here. It was crazy. There's gotta be a shed here somewhere. I'm gonna quit recording here soon and do some lines in here. It looks super awesome. It's all open because it burned through and fireweeds knocked down. There's new growth. So, fingers crossed, man, we can pick something up in here. It looks good. Figured I'd give you guys an update though. Haven't picked nothing up yet, but we've only been going for an hour or so. I'm not sure exactly what time it is. But, just figured I'd check in, show you guys this sign, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep heading up and zigzagging back and forth. I could see more rebs up there ahead of me on that hill, but I'll check back in with you guys when I get an update if we found something, or if I see something cool. Wish me luck, peace out. Still going along out here. Been cruising, it's really rock country, super rocky. And then found no elk sheds yet, came up on anything till now. I just came up on the really old deadhead that's split in half. I'm not even gonna pick it up, but I figured I'd show you guys what it was. Yeah, I was coming up this rock point and I just hiked up to look over and was thinking about heading down that way. And I looked over here on this little flat and there was that there, and I realized it was a broken off chunk old chalked out thing and the other half was down here just laying there a little four pointer but that's cool though better than getting skunk and we came way up in here just gonna say peace out to that and keep going it's awesome though better than getting skunked <clears throat> finally getting into somewhere Easy walking, not just grinding straight up and down rock bluffs. But hopefully, stumble up on something in here. I'm gonna walk up and then down this draw, and I'm heading in and head down into there. 
and see if I could pick anything up in here before I cut down. But figured I would figured I'd let you guys know I found that chalk deadhead and keep going and see what we could pick up. That was like the first five minutes of hiking we just took a break. Didn't feel much at the break just because there wasn't nothing going on. But hopefully now we'll pop off. Wish me luck. I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm still cruising along in this country. Burn, rolly hills. Looks really good in here though. I just seen big fresh bull tracks up above. I'm doing some lines through here. Got another old chalk, four point melee, or would have been a four. It's all chewed up the hill. I'll show you guys. Not even worth grabbing. Went through the burn, so. Yeah, it's coming along through here and come up right on it. Boulder and hill. Oh, well, apparently Vince just found a fresh four-point horn or a year-old one, he said. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Heck yeah, that's cool, man. We must be in the right area. But, dang. <laughs> I wish mine would have been a fresh, nice one. But, hey. It said it got chewed on a little. Maybe I'll go down there and get a pickup. It's a little ways away from me though. I'm gonna keep checking this hill. See if I can find a nice one too. But it's awesome he found something cool. I'll meet up with him and see what it is. At least it's probably worth something that you can grab anyway. But that's cool man. We'll be back. Alright. Still coming along here. I was glassing down off this point further away from me and I looked close to me. You can see some tines and there's a broken busted off four point shed down here but i'm in this awesome country i'm not sure if it's chalk or not i'm about to walk down to it right now but yeah i'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you guys down here and walk to it you can see it right there by that tree it was a little further away when i was glassing but there she is right there oh damn Almost didn't come back to where I just couldn't help it. Come check this bluff. And it might be another older in the hills one. Little one, I guess. Yeah, damn chalk again. Huh. Chalk. It's just a little chalk for. But we might grab it since we could pack that one around at least. I don't want to feel like I didn't pack nothing out. Yeah. That's what pink chalker looks like. Oh well. I'm going to keep zigging zigging. Maybe pick up a fresh set. Bound to. What they look like. Anyway. But I'm going to keep going across this. Do some zigs and zigs and get back above but hopefully pick something up a little newer but glad to be finding them wish me luck and I'll be back with you guys gonna keep her on going just might even just leave that one for a sacrifice hopefully we can slop something out but peace out to that guy let's keep going man I'm gonna waste time putting on my backpack right now because there's I want to find something nice. I was just in all kinds of fresh elk, could smell them like the best sign I've been in all day. So I'm gonna keep after it. Oh, wish me luck. Hopefully, I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, I'm back here with you. Just not far from where I found that last truck, and I'm coming up. And I look up here, I could see a white underneath this tree up here. Hopefully it's in better condition. I'll flip the camera around and show you guys. I'm getting into them right here on this little hill. But yeah, I was, I was just cruising along, looking through. I was just radioing Vince telling him it was super grassy and nice out here. And I glanced up right there and you could see that bad boy. All right, it's not that big. It's nice on the eye when you're out hiking. 
who knows it could be the other half to that one I just chucked but let's walk up on it and see you know what that is like a danker looking white tail shed actually just chewed up and old <laughs> but that's eh, not that big old chalky four but I think we'll take it just because we've been offering so much getting something back anyway but heck damn what's whatever I'm gonna grab her yeah it'd have been a decent buy but it's cool though I might grab it I might just leave it there too I'm just wanting to find something that's hard man oh wild horses coming up on me I thought it was a herd of elk. Oh, there's another one right there. Dang, though, man, we're in old one, Chalk City, kind of. They're in here. Maybe we'll find something. But... There's about a three year old four point whitetail shed. I thought it was a mealy shed. It wasn't. Not in the good condition really though. A little chalky on the front and crack. But I'm gonna keep working through here. Just do a run through here since they're right here. People would pick these up. They're or at least kick them around or something. So there must be something in here. Keep looking. Oh, I'm coming along still. Getting in the right area. We got the lucky balloon. Oh, we got. Oh, we got the congratulations, grad, graduate balloon. All right, maybe that means we're gonna graduate to an elk shed or something fresh. But we look, guys. We'll be back. Got the old lucky balloon. You know what that means? There's bone in the area to be found. So hopefully, score something. I'm pretty far in here now. I'm gonna have to loop back down and around and head back towards Vance and where I came from. But I just can't get off these bluffs. They keep drawing me into the next one, the next one, the next one. But fingers crossed that lucky balloon will come in clutch, get us a brown or something nice. I'm gonna come down this rock point, cut across, start heading back below where I was picking those last ones up. And there was, I'm out, I can't smell the elk sign anymore. I smell elk, still seeing tracks. But when I get back over there, I was in some good bull signs. So hopefully I could pick something up. But they're still traveling through here, here and there. So. Fingers crossed we can slop out on one of those or find anything. I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys. I'm still going along the cruising this country behind me, these little rocky bluffs and stuff. And I was coming, I'm looking down across in front of me and stuff. And I glanced over and I see a big mealy shed over here. It's got a kicker off the back. I'm going to flip around and show you guys. I'm not I'm going to get my hopes up on what kind of condition it is, but it's a shed coming down through this stuff looking i was picking those ones up up here above me kind of got out of them for a minute and wasn't seeing nothing just picked up that lucky balloon i was coming along through right here and i looked over and seen that land there I was like whoa what is that that might be a brownie oh that looks like a brownie let's go let's walk up on it and see what it is oh I mean, it's at least a year old. Oh, it, it looks fresh though. Oh man. Uh, I think it's a freshie. It could be a year old. Might have got flipped over. I think it is a year old. Oh man, it might be the other side of the one that Vince just found. But uh, I'm gonna ask him. Hey Vince, what side was that one you that you found? Was that a left or a right? Was the shed you found a left side or a right side? Right side. This might be the match to left and it looks like a year old. It's a big old mainframe three with like a little 
broken front beam or like a drop down in the velvet bean and it's got a kicker off the back fork. Does yours got a huge back fork? Yeah, it would have, but it broke. I'm the one the tines. Damn. Well, it might be a set anyway. It's a nice shed though. I'm going to pick it up. Okay. Alright guys. I'm going to pick this shed up. It's a cool three point corner. I guess it's a five point if you want to get technical, but mainframe three is pretty cool. Happy man. The lucky balloon. Came in clutch, right there. Congratulations on your three-point shed. It's pretty cool, man. It must have been dark when it fell off because it was out in this burn. Cause it's still got some color to it, but I'm gonna pick it up, man. Show you guys. Oh yeah, that's cool, man. You can't complain about picking something up like that. Still got really good color on it. The one that. Vince found he said that it was chewed a little bit, but he said it's still slick and had, I think he said a nice color too, but it's probably a match because he wasn't too far from, he radioed for me from, I was about right here when he found it and I found those two old ones, but heck yeah, I'll take it though, man. I'm happy. It's a match. I'll give it to Vince. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's one of my cooler three-point sheds anyway. But just happy to find one, man. Keep going and see if I could swoop some elk sheds or something. It's been a long hike. All right, finally met back up with Vince. Spent a couple hours, but got the show you guys the one that he picked up. It's not a set, but they're both big buck. Hold on, I should look back. Yeah. Vince's is really brown. I thought mine was nice and brown. It's a little chewed up right here, bro. <laughs> no right there too. Got into him. We yeah. started off in the wrong area. Way back over here wasn't much fresh sign, but as soon as we got to these hills, we started picking up all kinds of sheds. That's probably the 10th the one we picked up on this little hill. A lot of them were chalk, but still cool though. Closing back in on the truck. We didn't pack anything off other than those two nice muley sheds we found. We came across a lot of the chalk, fell short of our one elk shed goal, but we narrowed off the areas where they're not and found where there's a lot of bulls hanging out. So we'll start off there next time. Hopefully we pick some up, but we'll catch you guys on the next video. Me and Vince made it back to the rig basically. Good luck to all you guys. Like, subscribe, drop a comment. Peace out.